just about ready to start this one off. But before we do... Thanks very much, Kevin. <laughs> You are too, D.A. Thank you so much. <laughs> now the starting group for the visitors. And for Chicago. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. The eraser is out there with the beast. And it's Dosunmu in at the point guard. Well, we expect to see sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. And DeRozan kicks to Levine. Now here's Dosumu. Not a lot of room. DeRozan defending. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Poke loose. Pulls up on the wing. Chicago grabs the miss. On the wing, Levine. Turn around, Jay. The shot. No good. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Such a wide open look. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. It's a five point game. Pass to DeRozan. to Dosunmu. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Some serious finesse right there. Nothing's prettier than that finger roll. A second round pick in the 2021 draft. No one could have predicted the immediate impact Dosunmu would have. Playing for his hometown as a rookie, that is a dream. And he started 31 games, and he was often asked to guard some of the best offensive players. But look, he did a pretty good job and held his own. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The first one falls. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Outside the Rosen. Now here's Levine. And here is Dosumu. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. It's deflected. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. All I'm going to say is a few years ago, I would not expect this Bulls team to be in this position right now. They mm. weren't dominating, but look at what they're doing now. It's a whole new era. The Chicago team, Richard, has managed to turn things around after a string of four losing seasons. And that's why you never count a team out. A few smart trades, some good draft pickups, that's all it takes for you to ascend the rankings and become a top team in this league. And the right coach. Clearly, Billy was the right coach for this team. Oh, yeah, and that too. Definitely the good coach. That gives them the lead. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. 
and it's blocked. They get a hand on it. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Levine. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. Misses off the left iron. Gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Quick shot there, and it's off target. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Agile play by Levine, finding his way around the contact to get a shot. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And it's the Bulls with the ball. DeRozan passes to Levine. Back to DeRozan. 144 left here in the first quarter. And finished off by DeRozan. This is why you involve DeRozan in pick and rolls. He just knows how to execute off him. Just so smooth. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. And he sinks the layup. He's got five. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Levine. Here's the beast. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Chicago. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. Gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some thunder. Yeah. Now here's Dosumu. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. From outside the arc. Here's Big Smooth. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. With one on the clock, the first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. Bulls lead by two. And back in a moment as... And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Bulls, guys, what do you think? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. He's out there with the eraser. And it's Dosunmu in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Chicago. The base passes to Dosunmu. Feeds it to DeRozan. And that one is good. 
DeRozan's got the lead up to four now for the Bulls. And when people talk about defense, the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post there. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbows. So that's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the paint. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Takes the three. Nailed from three-point land. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. The Beast, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Goran Dragic has checked in for the Bulls. Gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. DeRozan defending. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And here we go with DeRozan running it up the middle. Here we go. One on one. Takes a three. It's good from long range. He's got eight. He just didn't like what he saw inside, so he takes the open transition three. But if he'd missed, coach might have had some words for him. Now here's Dragic. Let's it go from 11. And it's DeRozan missing. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, easy call. And the first one at the line is good. That one drops. He ties it up. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside, Levine. Back to Dragic. Knocked away. Another shot. It's tipped. They retain possession. And he comes up with the deuce. Eight points for the eraser. Gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. He's guarded by Dragic. Lock at six. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Five on the clock. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The eraser passes to Dragic. He lobs it up. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. DeRozan defending. Inside. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Outside Levine. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded closely. There's 138 left to play here in the half. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. 
Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of <laughs> doubt in my mind. But I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. Shoots. Goran Dragic grabs the board. Bulls leading by six. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist from Dragic. DeRozan's got eight. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. And it's stolen by DeRozan. By himself. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. Ooh, that's just a gimme. You're not going to see DeRozan waste a fast break opportunity like that. Gone 3 of 7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers. But DeRozan, he was just the opposite. The superstar. Ozumu, he's checked in for Goran Dragic. This is it to Big Smooth. Knocks down the three ball. 13 points in the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now, here's Dosumu. He's got five. Just five on the clock. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. And they keep hammering away at them inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And so it's the Chicago Bulls bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Loses his grip and clanks the alley-oop jam. Back to DeRozan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. DeRozan defending. Six to shoot. Unloads from 13. No good on that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Now the pass to the Beast. Levine kicks to DeRozan. Here's the eraser, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. The base passes to DeRozan. Outside, Levine. Now, here's Dosumu. Tight defense on him. He feeds it to DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard. That is explosive athleticism by DeRozan. His dunks, oh man, they'll make a rim shake. And one more look at that fantastic mobile one drop. That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night all around. Down low, in the air, 
Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The only way he was getting to the hoop was to use the double clutch. The Bulls leading by eight. Outside DeRozan. Got a piece of it. DeRozan defending. A second chance effort. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The first free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. The eraser passes to Levine. Here's Dosunmu. Pass to Levine. The 19-foot shot. The shot, no good. Gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Early slow start offensively. Named to his first All-Star game in 2021, Zach Levine had a breakout season. Yeah, that was year seven for Zach, averaging over 27 points per game. And look, it feels like he's been in the league forever, but he was only 19 when he was drafted in 2014. Zach's younger than a lot of people think. And here is Dosunu. He's got five, and the Bulls with another miss. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. To the middle. Here's Big Smooth. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Big Smooth got eight points. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Things are firing on all cylinders for them right now. We'll see if they can keep it going. The basket counts and one. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Well, Levine's game is defined by energy and aggression. He doesn't back down from any defender. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Defended by Caruso. Shot clock at six. Over to the wing. From beyond the arc. And Levine with the block. Caruso looking for an opening. Levine trying to free himself up. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. The Bulls making a switch here. White's checked in. And the first time out of the game called for. There's 154 left here in the third quarter. One on one fast break. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And about Alex Caruso, Richard, not many people will complain about having him as a teammate. They all love to play with him. Yeah, not at all. He's one of those guys that you just get fired up seeing every day. And when he got injured last season, you can tell how much his teammates missed him. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. The Bulls leading by three. One thirty-seven left to play here in the third. Yep, that one goes. And 12 points for the Beast. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. from three-point range. 18 points for him. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Outside DeRozan. Misses the step-back jump shot. Gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. For the tie. And the jumper is on the mark. It's a tie ball game. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Outside, White. Three. 
over to the left wing. The Beast, the eraser. It's good on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. 27 seconds left to play in the third. No good with the elbow jumper. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Over in the corner, Caruso. Puts it up from 12. Yep, that one goes in there. And now a four-point Chicago lead. Right wing. Three seconds left. That one doesn't drop. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and match. Just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pick. The eraser is out there with the beast. And it's Dosunmu in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Hits it from three-point range. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Six on the shot clock. Shoots off the step back. Levine's shot is off. Gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. From 12 feet out. Here's Big Smooth up and in on the layup. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Pass to Dosun. Here's the eraser. Elbow shot. And misses it off the right side of the rim. To take the lead. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. Levine gets to DeRozan. To the paint. Dosunmu shots good. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. You gotta like what DeMar DeRozan has done in this game. Well, he's been destroying them inside. Reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Bean with the rebound. The Bulls leading by three. Outside DeRozan. Here's the beast. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. 14 points for the beast. It's almost like he had a bird's eye view of the court. DeRozan always knows where his teammates are. Three-pointer. Chicago grabs the miss. The Beasts got rebound number five here tonight. Fires from 14. DeRozan's shot is off. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Here's the eraser. That's tipped. Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Bulls? Gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And the lack of rim protection, top. A new balance player of the game, the eraser.
And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Here's DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard. And people forget that DeMar DeRozan has competed in multiple dunk contests. This man has elite balance. And the shot goes in. 20 points for him. And we need a moment to check out the 2K drive one more time. Incredible stuff. This team needed a spark, and boy, did they get one with that incredible attack at the rim. The Beast can't hit. Gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Goes Hummer, the pass to Levine. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. The turnaround jumper. The shot by the eraser. No good. Gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Can't cash in from close range. Chicago leading by six. Pass to the beast. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Ooh, he's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Outside DeRozan. One on three left in the fourth quarter, and the jam by Levine. And we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for Chicago. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percent. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for the Beast. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. Just five to shoot. Can't nail the jump. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Let's it go from deep. Hangs home the trifecta. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. DeRozan with it. So the Bulls win it. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone satisfied. I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group 